Hey there all, I'm Mr. Simmons. I'm Mr. Bauman. And we're gonna use this as our five gallon bucket and this is gonna represent our three gallon bucket. We're gonna show you how to solve this question the movie style way first. So the movie style way first. All right, so I'm gonna put water into the five gallon bucket. Water into the five gallon, completely full. So I fill the full five gallons. I'm gonna pour that water until it goes into the three gallon bucket and now the three gallons full leaving two gallons of water in the bottom of my five gallon bucket. So now that I've got three gallons filled up in here, I'm gonna dump all that out. And that's empty. I'm gonna take my two gallons of water that are in this five gallon bucket and I'm gonna pour the remaining two gallons in to this three gallon bucket. So now we have two gallons in this three gallon bucket, leaving one gallon of empty space sitting right here in the top. Now I'm gonna refill the entire five gallon bucket with water. There's my water going in and it's a full five gallons. Can anyone tell me what five minus one equals? Last time I checked it equals four, four gallons. So this is five gallons. There's one gallon of empty space sitting right here. If I carefully pour just a little bit out of here, I filled up that one gallon right there, and this is full now. But right here is left just the four gallons. So four gallons are in the five gallon bucket, and everybody lives. Now time for the non-movie style method. Non-movie style. So this is what's not in the movie, but this is the way that maybe you solved it. Okay. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to do the non-movie style. We're going to take the water. We're going to fill up the five gallon lung drum. Non-movie style, take two. That first one was wrong, my bad, here we go. So for the non-movie style, we're gonna fill the three gallon all the way to the top. So the gallon, three gallons completely full. I'm gonna take that three gallons, I'm gonna pour that three gallons into the five gallon bucket. Now what we have is in the five gallon bucket, I've got three gallons of water. Now we're going to fill up that three gallon bucket again. You can see it up there. We're going to fill up that three gallon bucket again so it's full. And then I'm going to take what's in here, my three gallons. Remember, I've already got three in this one. And I'm going to pour two gallons out, leaving just one gallon of water in here. So this is now full because I had those two gallons at this top that's now used. It's full five in here. And I've got one gallon left in my three gallon bucket. So we have a full five gallon bucket full of water, which we need to splash on Mr. Bauman right there. Okay, Mr. Bauman is now wet. We have emptied our five gallon bucket. Remember, we had one gallon in this bucket. I'm gonna take that one gallon and I'm gonna pour that one gallon carefully into here. So now I've got one gallon sitting in the bottom of my five gallon bucket. And then the final step is pretty simple. Last time I checked three plus one, equals four. So I've already got one sitting in the bottom of my five gallon bucket. I'm going to refill all the way to the top my three gallon bucket. I'm going to take that three gallon bucket and I'm going to then pour three gallons in so that that three gallons plus that one is now sitting here at four gallons. And ladies and gentlemen, you've lived again, survived to win the problem. Congratulations if you solved it either way. Congrats to you. If you didn't solve it, that's okay. Just remember we're going to work hard this year and uh, persevere as best you can. As you have come, as the year goes on, if you've got questions, reach out to Mr. Bauman and I through Gmail, please. It's going to be an awesome year. Looking forward to it. Here we go.